So I'm heading towards the Scree Slope up there to get me up to the uh, North Ridge of uh, Cribgoch. That one is the start of the Scree Slope. Thankfully I've got the old uh, Help kit, carbon long tracking poles to help me up here. I don't have to be stashed away at the top. I'm going to start on the ridge proper. But, uh, well, this is steep. I think it's going to take a while. Off we go. Oh, this is a slog. But so far, anyway, not as bad as I thought. Did I? At the bottom end, there are some grassy bits to help you along if you need them. And I found it a little bit easier if you kind of zigzag along and obviously other people do that because the kind of pathways which are eroded so you have to be careful. You can see the way I'm heading up there. Well I've reached the top of the ski slope which wasn't too bad but wow Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at that. It's just a sea of cloud. Oh God, I could, I could weep. That's absolutely beautiful. Tasty now. Get very narrow. But uh, it's gonna get a damn sight narrower before the before the end. Down on uh, where I camped last night, down at Cumglass, just by Hlinglass. Absolutely lovely place. I'd certainly do the camp there again. Anyway, onwards and upwards as they say. Scary bits coming up. Well, people, do not underestimate Cribgoch North Ridge because it's really exposed. I'm uh, <laughs> kind of regretting deciding to take. I mean, some bits are really dodgy. There's some quite loose rock in places as well, so you've got to be really sure of your footing. I've had on this upper section four points of contact, never mind three. Sometimes five, including my knees. <laughs> See if I can get up to the main ridge in one piece. Well, that's the uh, North Ridge of Kirkgok done. Not one I will repeat in a hurry. Well, it's certainly life affirming when you get to this <laughs> when you get to the top as i say there are some very very sketchy sections you've got to be so sure of your footing wow 
So here we are, Crib Gog, the ridge itself. It's the cloud down in the valley. But look at this landscape. I just cannot believe the beauty of this day. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not messing around this. Not for the faint-hearted, as I've said probably about 50 times by now. It's very, very exposed. I wouldn't do this in anything other than bone dry weather. I'm getting close to the pinnacles now. I'll be glad when they're out of the way. Oh dear, this is really, really tough. Whoa. This is going to be some sense of achievement if I get across in one piece. Approaching the pinnacles. Now I've strapped you to my chest, so excuse me if the uh, footage is a bit uh, wobbly. Pinnacle number one, which I think a lot of people just go through that slot, so that's what I'm going to attempt. They may be a warm boot for the summer. My uh, handbag Ferrata 2, I think uh, called, I seem to remember. But I would not have any other boot on today. They've been an absolute godsend. As I say, they're a bit warmer. More of a winter boot, but I'm really glad I've got them on.
okay, I didn't go over the top of it, but you know. I'm 50 years old, what do you want from me? Right, next one. Right, pinnacle number two. Open. It's around this little ledge. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay, don't like this bit. Not at all. Dare I attempt to go up here? Gonna be easy. <coughs> Just hope there's no loose rock. to now. Dodgy, carrying 10 kilograms or so on your back, doing this kind of thing. Well, I tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, stride and edge to Helvellyn when I did it, and that was with about 13 kilograms on my back, I think. But this uh, that pales in comparison to this, I think. But you know what? It's a challenge. challenge yourself as long as you win it within your abilities and yet as safe as you can be there's a little staircasey part here Right, this is the bit on pinnacle number three. But it's really exposed to begin with, but you're soon at the top. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, 
and holds. Take it slow. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right. And we're going to get over here. I think I'm going to step down onto that one. on this part. There's a, there's a mountain goat right behind me now. Not sure how good this footage is going to be. Oh. All right. Done. Scary and life affirming in equal measure, I think. Excuse me, uh, having my cap backwards. I'm not trying to be down with the kids. But I can't find my sunscreen, which I'm annoyed about. by keeping the cap backwards it'll protect my neck a little bit but yeah crib gog that was a challenge and a half right up we go Well, you'll have to forgive me. I took uh, what's obviously a wrong turn and I'm walking down the side of Garden of the Gain, which is up there behind me. It appears my route just goes all the way around the side and then up. So, sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm glad, uh, to be honest, that this path is a little bit more straightforward. So, as it turns out, don't be under the impression that this way is particularly easy, because it's not. 
There's some very oops, exposed bits. Very, very loose rock. And the way forward is not straightforward at all. I've still got quite a way to go. So yeah, not an easy route that one. I'd say I meant to go across the top there but took a wrong turn. Not an easy route at all. If I wasn't knackered before, I am now. Well, I'm hoping we are just about to hit the top of the zigzag path, which I'll be really, really glad to get up to the top of. I'm exhausted now. Whew. Well, that's where I'm supposed to come from. I've got another nine. That's where I actually came from. The zigzags at the top. And Well, I'm down the bottom again. I came down there. Uh, well, I was forced to come down the miner's path. It's been an eventful couple of hours. Uh, I left you walking up to the summit of Snowden. Yeah, I'm not used to that much scrambling and and then walking uphill afterwards. So my legs are pretty tired. Plus, I'd run out of water. So I immediately turned around, went back the way I came, onto the miner's path. Uh, I eventually found a tiny rivulet stream. Uh, and I managed to fill myself some water up with my water filter. So I've managed to stave off heat exhaustion. I'll say, all in all, that was a brilliant overnight. A brilliant ascent of Kribkoch on its north ridge. So I'm going to leave it there, say thank you very much for watching if you've watched it all the way through. Please think about liking, subscribing. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.